Hi folks, welcome to Root Stem, and in today's video we're going to use some more varnishing. This time we're going to use Vallejo's matte varnish on this figure. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. If you do enjoy the content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing once you've done. And this is kind of a follow-up video. It's not going to be as long, but it's a follow-up video to the varnish uh, video that I did uh, not so long ago when I talked about actually varnishing your figures. In that video, I used, I used a can and I also used Vallejo's Mecha Gloss Varnish. I have actually been told now that Vallejo do a matte varnish. Yay! Simply, I'm joyous because quite a lot of my figures, I tend to dull down the gloss look of the mega, uh, mecha varnish with some water, some thinners. Whereas now, I'm hopefully not going to be uh, needing to. I can just pretty much use this. I'll probably use a little bit of water with it, but I'm pretty much going to be able to use this straight on the figure. But... I have used, I have decided to use this particular figure because his cloth and of course his look is going to be matte. But the glowy green of Games Workshop HQ, because we all know what that is, that needs to be glossy. It doesn't need to be um, sort of uh, matte. That's going to need to have a bit of shine. So I am going to then use the Mecha Gloss Varnish over the top of the original varnish, again, just with a bit of a spray, to see what happens. So, as always, let's just crack on. So I've got my airbrush loaded up with the varnish. Yeah, it's coming out nicely. And I'm just going to apply this quite liberally all over the actual model. It'll probably look a little shiny when it's actually being put on there, but it's going to dry matte. Now, given that a liberal coat, as you can see, as you can see, there's a little bit of shine there. Um, that's because I maybe put a bit too much on that particular area. But So, with any varnish or anything like this, I'm going to give this a good 20 minutes to dry before coming back to it. So, now we're at the stage of using the gloss. And I'll, I'll tell you something, guys. These are really good value for money because these last forever. Uh, well, not forever, but they do last a really, really long time. I think I've only ever had to buy... I think that's my second bottle in several years. Um, and I did commission painting. So, I've got the top of my airbrush off, mainly because I'm wanting to try and get an exact or try to get it as glossy as I can. Now, if you do go over and catch, don't worry about it, because it's supposed to be a glossy, sort of shiny green that we're kind of trying to capture there. So don't worry if you go over the line, over the lines. Right, so if we do that, look, as you can see, that looks nice and shiny and looks like it should be some form of hololithic. Yeah, I'm not getting any massive amount of shine from my figure, he does have a bald head. So some people probably would argue that he needs to have some shiny bald headiness, uh, but no. Uh, but yeah, there we go, just two little different varnishes. I quite like, I do really like the Mecha matte varnish. It also comes in a small um, standard Vallejo size. That's an old ink, but as you can see there. Standard Vallejo size uh, tub, which I don't know how. I don't really think it tells you how many mil. Oh, 17 mil, uh, 17 mil little tub. So if you just just want to give it a try, I recommend giving one of those first. Uh, they tend to be about three or four pound or something like that, probably cheaper. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I tend to buy a lot of paints altogether, so I never know really the individual costs of uh, sort of paints themselves. Rather than a big tub, and then these, I think from Hobby Workshop, they are about between nine and ten pounds. That's not including delivery, but remember, if you spend over X amount, you get free delivery, which is always a great thing. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, right. Right then, guys. Thank you very much for watching this really short video. I know it's not a long one this time around, but it was just something that I just had to kind of show you guys. 
Uh, hopefully, we're going to be getting around to some um, of these bad boys, caskins that I've stripped special. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be trying to paint those up in an Armageddon colour. Um, try as quick as I possibly can, and maybe, maybe some Beltan Eldar. Oh, I've got all sorts. Oh, I've got even some metal rangers coming alongside the plastics. I'm going to paint them side by side. And I've even got some Iron Warriors coming, especially with a new Chaos range about to come out. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more content. And we'll see you next time on either a paint tutorial, a battle report, or even just me waffling about the rubbish that we all collect while gaming. See you next time.